All right, it's family day at Knott's Berry Farm. Hopefully not student day. We'll see when we get in there. There wasn't, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of buses when we uh, got into the parking lot, so we might be in the clear a little bit, hitting that just a little break between uh, summer and student takeover. Let's go to the farm and find out. Some kinds of wood back there now. Some lumber for something, for what it is, I don't know. Um, but there's like an extension to the uh, that building now. Why is it like a chimney or something? Some sort of haunted house chimney thing. I don't know. There's a ladder inside, so they're working from the inside out. And they got this windowsill here next to the wrapped up shark. I don't know, man, but it's starting to take shape a little bit. So I don't know. Are they going to start wrapping it pretty soon? So they're actually putting design on the outside. Give us a little bit bigger of a hint. Whatever it is, man, this is going to be really, really big. The depths was big enough as it was. And this looks like it's going to be like 35% bigger. Massive. The biggest ever in our country. All right, well, they got all the uh, little turnstiles and ropes gone. So they're not expecting schools anyway. I gotta admit, one of the main reasons I was coming here was to cash a check, but Westcom's not done yet. Still behind walls. I was just trying to cash this check. Snapping necks and cashing checks. All right, everything made it through the gamut except for Jaguar. Oh, Andrew got stuck in bag check. Criminal, just criminal. And since we got time over in this wide open entryway, Kids are gonna convert some cash to cards. Yes. All right, so it's really not super busy up here yet. Either that means they're all in the back of the park or there's just not that many people here. So let's take this opportunity to go look at Camp Snoopy. And now that we have our opening date for Camp Snoopy on June 27th, we're starting to get all of the new merch for the opening of it, including these little guys. I kind of like these little guys. They're little, that's fun. They little hats and stuff. It's kind of got its own new little theme here, it looks like. Uh, not all classrooms have walls. Classy. You stay classy. And over in the far corner, they still have all of the uh, the summer stuff in place, too. Mostly the same thing. So they got the snow cone machine and this plushie now. Little plushie Snoopy. Achoo! All right, this is a drastic change from last week. I could barely move to get through here last week. <sighs> this week, it's noise. Nice. Nice. Okay, so let's do some updates here with what's happening with Camp Snoopy. First and foremost, we'll go in order of appearance. Uh, the theater, it obviously is going to be turned into a big grassy scenic uh, spot and it looks like uh, that's where it's headed. I have been here a couple weeks now and I haven't seen anybody work in there, so that's obviously not on the forefront of their priorities list. However, that's not to say that it won't be done by, hopefully by Scary Farm, so that they have room uh, for the queuing and the exit area for chilling chambers. The Beagle Express, it looks like everything's there. All the scenic, the tracks laid, they've got the train out. They're testing um, and training all of the new engineers that are gonna be driving the train around. Um, and for the most part, that ride seems to pretty much be done. We have yet to see if they're gonna add anything. The, th the description on the website still says covered bridge. Obviously that's not going to be a covered bridge because it looks like they're pretty much done with the scenic on that ride. So it is what it is. It's just gonna be a cute little thing for uh, the kids. Across the balloon race from there, what is it, uh, Snoopy's off-road rally. That looks to pretty much be done too. The cars are being staged underneath the, tra the track for Montezuma. So it's only a matter of time before they put those cars there and they start testing that train, as that ride as well. But that's just a matter of time before that's the next thing that comes along in the snowball here. Across the way, they've got the Tenderbot Twister. The, it looks like the queuing, the queue section is being done. For that spot, it's gonna be lining up right next to the River Run, um, which is okay. Uh, hopefully they've got enough space to accommodate the uh, ine inevitable super long line uh, that's going to um, back up for that ride. Uh, but that, you know, June 27th can't come soon enough for that. That's gonna be a really cool ride. As far as Sally's Happy Swing, doesn't look like they have done anything since the last time I've looked. Still have the little quad area dug out. The ride itself is still across the street in the La Palma lot, has not moved an inch. It is what it is. But that is Camp Snoopy as of four o'clock uh, on Tuesday, June 11th. And sometimes if you ask nicely, you get your own little private romantic coach ride in the back. Andrea didn't ask nicely, but we still got it. Hi. So Ghost Rider still has the guy out in front of the, the cave here at the entrance telling people that there's only one train running, so the wait time is going to be longer than usual. Yeah, I wouldn't be caught dead in that line. That's that's hour and a half, two hours already. Instead, you'll cash us at the Tater Bites. How about that? Catch me outside, how about that? And when you go to the, the Tots store, you get the pastrami tots. 
Duh. Hey. Oh man, watch that hand. Ma'am, watch that hand. I almost took out my camera. <laughs> Ghost Town seems to be a little bit more alive these days. <laughs> Starting on Friday, Ghost Town Live is uh, bringing, us, bringing us back to the 1800s for a hoot nanny and a Founders Day. Oh, and they got all the lights hung up and the stage is set for a hoot nanny. Oh, it's gonna be good times this summer. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it all the way down in my plums. But for now, y'all, we got a train to catch. All right, the train seems safe, so we're gonna get on out of town and head over to Dallas. What? All right, here's the key factor with knowing if it's busy or not at this park. Silver Bullet, 30 minutes. It's much better than the 135 that it's been these last couple weeks. Some would say even that it's short. All right, they got all the, um, all the little booths back up for the little market that they have down here during summer nights. Some delicious foods and some ridiculous games, I might, I might add. And while we're feeling fiestive, let's head into the village and see what they have to offer. And I'll reiterate what I said when I came into the park. Jaguar, the only thing that hasn't made the final uh, final stretch of refurbs here. So this is the only ride that's down this week. I'm I'm estimating this thing's probably gonna be open again by Friday, just in time for summer nights, as it should be, because this is kind of a staple of this corner of the park here. And back here in the actual village, a typical Tuesday. Or, or, or as some might call it, Fat Tuesday. It's a lot of people in Fiesta Village today, feeling the party, feeling the flow. It's all here, circular, the music, the flow, all good things in Fiesta Village. We all like it, right, fish, seahorse thing? Feel the flow, Happy, feel it. All right, taking the shortcut through fake Chipotle, Gracias por visitar Fiesta Village time to the boardwalk. This line seems a little bit more moderate. Last week it was popping out of the entryway here. It was uh, nuts. Wish I could say the same for Accelerator though. That is not a moderate line. It's a long line if you're trying to get thrills at 84 miles an hour. 1.21 gigawatts. We were gonna do Accelerator, but uh, Andrea's too scared to ride it today. So we're gonna make a left and just ride the Sky Cabin like us elderly folk do. I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a big line for this ride, maybe we don't go. That's the last time we rode the Sky Cabin together. Well, last year, right? No, we rode it in Really? Transported in several sections a long time ago. We would like to now direct your attention to outside your window as we tell you some of the sights you see. To the south, you will see the way, which takes riders up the 15th story lift hill and suspend. The rest of the boardwalk seems to be happening. This is the happening place right here. Usually, this place is barren when I come in the mornings, but lately, this has been the spot for all the action. All the Coast Rider action, and the hang time action, and the loop de loop action. So much action, it's like a Jackie Chan film. Who's ready to dance the night away on, on for summer nights? I just wanna dance. Oh man, M&T coming strong with the uh, improvements. Only a matter of time before they're gonna start actually building walls around this thing. Still looks like they're just gonna tent it. That's <laughs> what it feels like to me. I've never seen beamage like this, like construction like this. I mean, they're welding steel together, so this definitely is going to be a permanent structure, and it's going to be able to withstand the gale force winds of a hurricane, it seems like. I think today's the day we return to the fair. I smell a Berry Tales challenge. Yeah, that's a big psych. We ain't, we ain't waiting that line. I feel like when I look off into the distance, the skyline's missing a big coaster. I think it's time for Knott's to have a big coaster. And the mine ride's back open. Do you wanna know how I can tell? Because the line is all the way out here. But it's doing its job and it's eating some of the lines that would be at other rides, such as like Pony Express or uh, like Pacific Scrambler, little flat rides like that. People are here in this line, so that's good. It's doing its job, boy. Welcome back, mine ride. And speaking of lines, sun's out, it's over 60. You know people are gonna be doing the log ride all the way back to the main entrance here. About an hour or so, but it is the, you know, it's toward evening, mid-evening, 4.30 or so. So this is expected. It is a little warm outside, so it would be nice to have a little refreshing dip down the buzz saw. You know, for a second I looked back and she was gone. I thought I lost her and then I remembered I just gotta look for the ice cream spot. And I'll find her. Guess what I got. What in the cripes? <laughs> and then we're coming up on just days before Founders Day and uh, looks like the Mayfields aren't gonna be setting up shop here this year. Maybe it's because their secret spot isn't so secret anymore. You have people like me vlogging it out. Blowing up their spot. It makes you wonder where exactly are they going to be hiding out this year? Let's split up and search for this ape man who eats hamburgers. Let's go check the wilderness. 
nothing back here but people riding rafts and ponies and, and having hot dogs. Seems to be where all of the uh, eighth grade grad party groups are too. Seems like Pony Express has kind of figured themselves out. They're running two trains today, and the line is, that's not bad at all. They're doing good here. It's not popping out the back like it usually has been. Enough of that. Trying to go drink some moonshine. You have my curiosity. Now you have my attention. All right, well, the bumper cars seem to be uh, popular enough back here in this back corner. I really just need this to be a goring 20s area, like ASAP. All right, who's ready to party? And just like that, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to summer mode. From student takeovers to summer family fun nights. It's about that time. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. It's starting to really crave the water rides. Looking forward to this new uh, opening of Camp Snoopy at the end of the month. All right, until we see you next time at whatever park we end up going into, we'll catch y'all on that flippity flop.